Good day viewers, Walter here. Out at the garage. My yard shore is looking nice. Might be because day before yesterday I got out here and cut the grass. A few things I need to attend to out here. First, I'm resting a minute after struggling out here with my walker and be getting a few things organized. It's been July the 9th I got hurt. My vehicles haven't been ran since then. And wouldn't you know they were both sitting here dead. I got out here the day before yesterday and charged up the green one. Just enough to get it charged and moved over there. But I didn't run it very long. So it's probably dead again. Tried to start my expedition a while ago and it won't start. So I've got my little battery charger dragged out here. It's an old, very old one, but it still works. Quit working at one time and I went in there and found a burned out resistor and just substituted one of similar value and it worked pretty good. The gauge on it doesn't show you the voltage or anything, but it charges. So we're gonna put the expedition on charge here for an hour. And I wanted to work on my riding lawnmower. Well, I did something real stupid here last year. I gathered all my tools and put them in various toolboxes. Busted up all my socket sets. Now every time I want to find a quarter inch socket, I have to root through two or three toolboxes to find it. So I got to go back through these tools boxes this morning and at least dig me out a quarter inch size socket set that I can use to work on my lawnmower. It is ridiculous when you have to spend 30 minutes looking for a socket. So that's what I'm doing this morning. Let's get over here and I'm gonna leave my hat right here. Let's get over here and hook up this charger. Walter, why did you let the battery get in? Now you can't pick up a charger if you're standing on the cord, can you? Saw some sparks. The only way to know if this thing is charging, put your ear up to it and listen to the transformer. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's humming. So we'll let it charge 30 minutes and come over here and try it. Let's go over here now and see if my green truck still has enough charge to start. If it does, I'm going to let it run 20 minutes. If it don't, I'll have to charge it again. Better walk around. Don't want to trip over them stuff over there. It's a handicap learning to walk with a walker all over again. I'm stepping pretty good and putting pretty good weight on my leg as I walked but it still hurts if you put too much weight on it said it'd take me three months to, to heal I 
I'd almost bet the green truck is dead again. It's been two days since I charged it. Get my foot in there where I can give it a little throttle in case it's got just a little bit of charge in it. If I stand back here and try to turn it, probably just drain my battery. Got lots of projects I need to be working on on this old truck. Whoops, wrong keys. Here we go. She's dead as a duck, my friend. Okay, that was a waste of time. Let's just leave the keys in there. It ain't going nowhere. We'll work on sorting our tools out. All right, I'm back over here at the garage. I parked the walker and got in a roll around office chair. We're gonna scoot over here to the toolboxes. Well, got a light on under the hood now that I got the charger hooked up. We're not even gonna try until that battery takes a little bit of a charge. I need to get in here and sort out all my trailers and power tools and wood chippers and generators where I'd have more room to park both of my zero turn mowers up in here. I pretty well figured out that my Husqvarna probably has a fuel solenoid problem. If it ain't that, it's going to be the carburetor because I've already changed the fuel pump. That didn't do it. I got me a whole tray full of 3 8 inch sockets here I need to sit and sort through. That'll take some time. But I've been back in there going through them toolboxes for an hour. Let's go see if we can start the expedition. If I can get up out of this rolling chair. Famous last words, if I don't grab my walker, I might regret it. Okay, we're up. That ought to be charged enough to start. I don't remember how much fuel is in this thing. Here we go. It just barely started. Well, there sits an open end wrench. We might need that in our sorting set. Seven sixteenths. What else is in here? Nothing. All right, let's go disconnect that battery charger. Move the battery charger to the Ford pickup truck and get it charging.
Not getting a whole lot done today, but I'm staying busy. Great. Why don't you get hung up? Well, that engine's dirty. Okay, we got it humming. And it was almost had enough charge to start a while ago. Could I be lucky enough that uh, just the battery charger will get it going? I kind of doubt it. That's a low wattage battery charger. But since the keys are in there, let's give it a turn. Nope, I got 
the charge. Well, I got my expedition running, let it run for about an hour. Had the green truck on charge, went back out there to start it, and it wasn't connected but good at the battery, so it didn't charge at all. So I sat here another 30 minutes, get enough charge on it to start it. But I'm gonna let that green truck sit there and run for about an hour. I got to quit and go in. It has got downright toasty out here. Got most of the tools all moved into the garage here where I can sort some more tomorrow. I stayed pretty busy all morning. Now, oh, I left the truck door open. I gotta go back over there and close that before I go in the house. Let's fire up the old walker and go for a stroll. That wasn't the most delicate way to put that up, was it? I got tennis balls on the bottom of my walker and it helps with the kitchen floor from scrub marks. But out here on this cement driveway, it just scrubs the fell right off the tennis ball. Then when I go in, it's, the rubber squeaks on the floor. And you can get some more tennis balls put on here. <laughs> Thank you. 